Affordable housing is one of the biggest issues facing Duluth and beyond. Older housing stock and rising rents are putting a damper on growth in the region. Well, the Housing and Redevelopment Authority of Duluth broke ground this week on a project that will help alleviate that housing shortage. And so joining us now with more is Jill Keppers, Executive Director of the Housing and Redevelopment Authority of Duluth. Jill, thank you for being here. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Can you give us an idea of what the city, Jill, is hoping for Fairmont Cottages? What's that all about? Great, so Fairmont Cottages is going to be 18 units of small cottages ranging in size from 620 to 720 square feet. Uh, they're going to be affordable for the workforce here in Duluth. Uh, the rents will be set so they're affordable to people at 50%, 80%, 90%, and 100% of the area median income. Where are these being built? They're being built on uh, 71st Avenue West between Raleigh and Red Ruth Street. Mm -hmm. How critical is the housing shortage in Duluth? Uh, it's very critical. Our coordinated entry list for people experiencing homelessness continues to grow. Uh, we see our housing choice vouchers having more and more difficulty uh, finding places to live because mm -hmm. rents continue to climb. Mm -hmm. And are there specific types of housing that are most needed? W would rental fall into that or, or are there really needs at all levels? There's needs at all levels. Uh, we like to have programs that can address both home ownership and rental needs in our community. Mm -hmm. When will the project be completed then, Jill, and ready for occupancy? So they're hoping to have all the slabs poured here before ground freezes this fall and then build through the winter so that we can open uh, in the summer of 2023. Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges? Uh, you know, I was looking at the, the numbers for, for Fairmont College cottages and you know, the project itself is about five million dollars for 18 units which averages out to approximately two hundred and eighty six thousand dollars a piece they sound like pretty modest units is there a way to ever make affordable housing attractive to private developers or is it always something where the the cost is too high and it would have to be subsidized so these are not going to be subsidized units uh, so that's that's nice mm -hmm. um, if you're going to build straight affordable housing, oftentimes you have to use the low-income housing tax credit pr program, mm -hmm. uh, and that's a competitive application process with the state of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, these cottages, though, are being paid for with a combination of funds from the Duluth HRA, uh, the city's American Rescue Plan Act funds, and then uh, a, a mortgage, essentially, from North Shore Bank. And what will it cost to build? It is about 5 to $5.1 million for the whole project, but that includes the whole site. Uh, um, site development, uh, we have to repave roads, all the utility hookups, sure. uh, trail lighting. I mean, this is a nice little community, so there's, there'll be interconnected trails within the cottages and a little ravine that uh, has a little crossing bridge. Mm -hmm. And Jill, you're also working on a project called Sky Ridge Flats. What's that all about? What will that be like? So Sky Ridge Flats is our 70 unit uh, senior project. And by senior, we mean 55 plus, which it's a little close to home these days, but that is, <laughs> that is what it is. Uh, and so that is actually a housing infrastructure bond project. So the Housing and Redevelopment Authority was awarded the largest bond uh, award in the state last year of almost $14 million. So there's about $3 million of HRA money and $14 million of housing infrastructure bond money that will go into that project to build 70 units up at Harbor Highlands for people age 55 plus. And those are all one bedroom units. Mm -hmm. And is the, the senior population particularly vulnerable or or are they having a particular trouble finding affordable homes? Well, I think one of the things as people uh, try to age in place in Duluth, it's increasingly difficult because the houses in Duluth, uh, we have some of the oldest housing stock in the state. And so oftentimes your bedrooms and bathrooms are upstairs uh, and your living space is downstairs. And so finding a, a way for people that can age in place and stay in their community is, is what we're looking for here. Mm -hmm. Has the community made significant strides over the, the past 10, 15 years in terms of, of trying to address some of the housing needs and be doing so successfully? Well, we sure try to be creative. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky in our community to have both Center City Housing and One Roof Community Housing, which are two nonprofit developers that continually try to apply for funds in order to build more affordable units in town. We've also had other developers in recent years uh, show a real interest in building in Duluth. So we try to encourage other developers to come to town and see what they can do because the more creativity and the more, research, more resources they bring to town, the better. Mm -hmm. You've also applied for funding for Harbor Highlands townhomes. Will you tell us about that project? 
Yes, yeah, so our latest application for funding will be 40 units of family housing, and that is also up at the Harbor Highlands site, it would sit just below Sky Ridge Flats. We would find out in December if that project gets funded. Mm -hmm. For people who really aren't that familiar with the, the HRA and what you do, um, give kind of an overview of some of the, the things that you have your, your fingers in and the, the, pro the projects that you work on and the services that you provide. Well, the HRA has a variety of departments. Mm -hmm. So we have our owned housing department. So we have public housing and project-based rental assistance and then scattered site housing that will be turning to project-based vouchers here in the near future. We also have our rent subsidy department, which has over 1,500 uh, rental vouchers for people to use to help them pay for their rent in town and manages other little small programs for specialty populations as well. Mm -hmm. And then our rehab and real estate department uh, has some home ownership. We do some uh, zero interest deferred contract or zero interest contract for deeds for people that are at the lower income level to try to get them into initial home ownership. Uh, and we have a construction training program. Yeah, what's that all about? I was going to ask a question on that. Yeah, so our construction training program is just this great little program that seems to check a lot of boxes. So <laughs> we're able to work and partner with Community Action Duluth to uh, recruit um, people that have, may have barriers to employment. Uh, maybe historically disadvantaged populations and bring them in and set up a crew where the HRA will then buy a tax forfeit or foreclosed uh, home and then the crew will work and get hands-on training, they're paid to do it, mm -hmm. uh, to actually get hands-on training remodeling the house and then they take a few classes at uh, Lake Superior College mm -hmm. as well. Very um, good, Joe. We have to run. Sure. Joe Kepper is Executive Director of Housing and Redevelopment Authority of Duluth. Thanks, Joe, for being here. Thank you. Thank you.